This video is a guided tour of the Brone Model 690 Bath Fan Upgrade Kit, also known as a Newtone 690 NT. This kit can be used to upgrade an existing fan or simply replace an old motor that has gone bad. There are hundreds of thousands of builder grade fans out there and this kit upgrades most of the popular uh, fans from Brone, Newtone, Nautilus. As you can see, the upgraded motor on the left is larger, has a redesigned blower wheel with more air moving fins. Before purchasing the kit, make sure your existing model number is on the list of the fans that the kit will upgrade. You can find the existing model number hidden behind the grill and stamped or printed on the fan housing. Once upgraded, the fan will be quieter and more powerful than your existing fan. The upgrade is rated at 60 CFM in three zones. You'll have to use your imagination a little bit as we'll be upgrading my old Brone Model 688 fan on the floor. In reality, the upgrade can be done completely from below the fan without going into your attic. First, remove the existing grill by pulling it away from the housing and pinching the spring clips. The upgrade kit comes in a small box and included in the kit are a replacement blower wheel and motor assembly. You also get two different motor plates to accommodate the many different fan models that you're upgrading. You'll notice that one plate is slightly larger than the other. Also included is a wrench, a couple of nuts, a, a scroll band which you use in only some of the upgrades, and a replacement grill. Now we'll start the upgrade by unplugging the power supply from the existing motor. And you can re remove the entire motor plate and motor assembly. You just have to kind of pry it out from one side with a flathead screwdriver and you can just throw it away. Then we're going to match up the appropriate motor plate from the kit that fits our housing. Then you grab the blower wheel and motor. It has uh, threaded posts on, the, on a mounting bracket and these posts fit through holes in the motor plate. And then you tighten, uh, tighten them down with the supplied nuts and wrench. Now we have a brand new assembly and we're going to just kind of put that the way it came out into the old housing. You have to make sure you line up the cutout for the plug on the one corner and it just snaps right in place. Then plug it back in. The last step is replacing the grill and we're going to use a new grill it goes on like the old one came off. You just squeeze the spring clips together and slide them into two slots on either side of the motor mounting plate and then it springs up uh, and tightens up onto the ceiling. And that's it. If you have any questions please visit our website or give us a call and we appreciate you watching the video.